Hi there, this is Chris from Money Hub, and this video is looking at using the Morningstar Fun Screener tool. Very useful uh, tool from Morningstar, which lets us see how managed funds within New Zealand are performed. So the first thing to do is click on the URL. You can find that below. That'll take you to the Morningstar tool. Then click on the NZ funds, and then you can go to uh, deselect superannuation funds, and you can deselect investment bonds. So now we're on to investment trusts, which is the same as managed funds, and we click on performance, and we can see here there's 309 funds which are being measured, and if we click on the 200 rows, uh, then if we want to see which fund had the best 10-year 10 10-year 10 average result, we can see here it's a Fisher Funds Premium Fund, and also they, you know, rank number two with their growth fund. Then we see some common common names in the funds management industry, Pi, uh, Mint, Milford, AMP, Nico, Forsyth Bar. So you're all the way down uh, to the lowest results, which will be a lot of cash funds. So you could expect to see uh, cash funds in those kind of ranges. Um, and basically, yeah, there's a whole bunch of different funds. So it's not... So this isn't sorted by sector, it's not sorted by a different uh, category of fund, but you do get a good idea if you're looking for a long-term investment, which, you know, starting with the 10-year or even starting with the 5-year would be uh, a positive place to start. Uh, but in the interest of full disclosure, some fund, manage, uh, some fund managers don't submit their data or their fund performance to Morningstar. Not because they're trying, uh, not because they're trying to hide it, but just it's their policy that we don't submit to Morningstar. So this uh, this report does cover probably ninety eight percent of the market, uh, but there is some managers which I won't mention just for legal reasons um, that don't want to be included for whatever reason. Uh, so uh, that's fine. You can still see their marketing. You can still always check it with a tool from Sorted, uh, with a tool from Mindful Money or something like that. Um, but yeah, this does provide the most sort of comprehensive and uh, sort of easy to compare tool. So if you wanted to see the last one year, uh, and bearing in mind this is post COVID, you know, we can see that one fund uh, took in a 98.59% return. And we can see that the Pi growth fund took in 58.84. These are quite, quite large numbers. If we want to see more data about this, then you can see you know, a graph of how it returned and making sure that the status is open. So that means you can, that you can invest in it. And uh, this is, yeah, so it'll give you a minimum investment of 250,000 and it shows you also like net assets. So it's got a, it's the fund size is at about 28 million. So it's very, it's a very useful, um, it's a very useful tool and you can really go into any uh, fund you want and you'll see the same thing. So you'll be able to see, okay, this is what it did. We can see clearly a post COVID effect um, and it will compare it to the index and uh, it will show you, it, it will show you uh, the minimum, minimum investment, which is good to keep in mind. So that is pretty much how to use the tool. Uh, you can also see the management fee here as well, which is taken uh, from the prospectus. And yeah, so that that really is quite, a, it, it's just a good a summary of the fund and you don't have to sit through and reading a whole bunch of a data to be able to get a snap picture. Money Hub does the same thing. You can always have a look on Money Hub and the same thing with Sorted. They also do a good summary as well. So uh, yeah, that's that. If you do want to see which funds have, you know, returned negative, then you just have to click say for the last six months you'll see some of the funds due to New Zealand shares being perhaps a little bit complicated right now, um, and not a reflection of the future, just what's happened. You can see some of the funds have gone negative, uh, but overall, you know, they are positive and it's just market movements and they are, I mean, these are all sort of index funds, so they, uh, well, actually most of them are, so they do tend to be uh, long-term plays, um, but it is, it's very good to be aware that yes, your fund can go down, and sometimes people don't know that they only see the highs they don't see the reversal so it's good to know you can also see if you click on a 10-year right which fund from the growth funds had the lowest so if you want to go control f this is probably like a better tool it's uh, my sort of cheat way 
um, is we go down and see right which fund and keeping in mind that we want to have um, the lowest so we want to keep on with the um, sorry this is it here so we can see that uh, New Zealand asset management uh, for the last 10 years their global growth fund returned 2.73 percent uh, which if you had been in that versus Milford, which was about 16, you can see that your returns would have been, for example, eight times and oh, sorry, about seven times within the Fisher Fund. So it's always useful just to get a sense check of what funds are doing, just have a good scroll through. And the best thing is you can always just get a summary. So if I wanted a summary of the Fisher Funds Australian Growth Fund, then I could click on that and it would show me, right, what's the fee? What do I need to invest? Um, so you can see it's 1.29% for that. Uh, to be in Fisher, I need $2,000. Then you can uh, just see its graph as well. So we are in unusual times with the COVID situation, um, but you know the data is valid and, and that's what it is. So yeah, I thoroughly recommend using this tool for your own learning. It's very, very, very comprehensive. And the best thing is it's free to use. So uh, thanks very much for watching and let me know if you have any questions.